Hey, you! Are you tired of the genetic FNF background all the time, whatever you're playing FNF, and you're like, oh, I want to change my background to be my own custom FNF background in Psych Engine? Well, you have came to the right place because I am going to be showing you how to change the FNF background to be your own custom background right now. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Let's go! What's good, YouTube? It is your game over here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your FNF background, or specifically how to make a custom FNF background, um, whatever you're playing FNF, you know. So let's go and get started. So, first off, you're going to need to have a program called Krita, and which that means, now Krita is a, um, it's a basically an art, it's like a digital art app or something, yeah, but anyways, you're going to open up the first menu DSAT over here, I already have it open, but basically, if you have, if you want to open it up, Go to um, your file explorer, go to Psych Engine Windows, go here, assets, images, and then you can see here that it has the background stuff. You can like copy it, put it over here, put it to Krita. So I already have the backgrounds in, so I don't need to do that. Once you're done with that, you're gonna create a new layer, paint layer, size is down to like 10 or something, right? And then but first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually get the um, background color. So, you get this, right? And then you go to the paint layer over here. You wanna make sure this is all the way down. Get your paint layer, and then make sure you put this color over here. So, there you go. So, you have that, right? Okay. So, you just colored your entire background, so then. If you go over here, um, well this would just go over here, so look at it, we have the background here. But make sure you want to disable this first, make sure you disable the paint layer over there, first, and then you're going to create a new layer. So make sure this is over, under, everywhere, right here. So then, just get this, right, go back to the background, right? Right, and then you're going to go, um, here, hold on. So go down here, go to where it has the little thing here, copy this hair. If you get these, or actually more specifically, actually get this. Get this. This is way more efficient. Get this right here. So then, go back to the paint layer 2. Go back to the paint layer 2, and then, just, uh, draw whatever you want. You can draw a boyfriend face in a random character, you can make your Roblox character. You can make whatever you want. For me, I'm gonna draw a little hill, and then I'm gonna draw a stick man. Right? And then... Actually, hold on, that's a bad one, hold on. Okay, and then... So... What you can do, is you can get something called a... Horizontal mirror line. So what this means is that... When you draw, it copies over here, so it's like a kind of a cool thing. I actually drew a heart, but whatever. <laughs> I just actually drew a heart, but whatever. Okay, so... I'm gonna draw the eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little squiggly arm. Wee -oo, wee -oo. Look at that. Ah. Ah. Oh shoot. Okay, we kind of overdid it, but you know what? Whatever. That's our stick man over there, right? So we got this. We have our paint layer. You can do what else, whatever you want. You can um. You can also create new paint layer. Uh, let's do. Let's do another horizontal mirror line, actually. Let's do this. Let's do this, actually. So, and then, we're gonna copy this. Do this. Do. Copy the electric, make it look more cooler. Let's get back on a little bit more cooler. I'm just gonna do this. Yeah. <sighs> there we go. And then just... Watch out! Hmm. 
See that? Progress is already going through, baby. Progress is already going through. Alright. Bam! You see that? Electric. Awesome. So, and then, enable your paint layer. Alright? Go back to your files. I made a huge mistake on this real quick. I almost just made a mistake. So, currently, the background I'm doing is menu DSAT. Which is the same color as that. Right? So then, press F2 to do rename. Now, what I like to do is I like to do OG. This is the OG, the original um, background. You don't want to delete the uh, original background because that's not what you're supposed to do. You're still supposed to keep the same the original background and keep the new background that you're creating. Just rename it to whatever you want. Just rename it to OG. That's what I recommend. The original background to OG so that um, <clears throat> the, site, the, um, the site engine doesn't get confused with the two backgrounds. It'll probably just keep doing the original background. If you keep doing the same exact name for both of the um, original and new backgrounds, it'll get confused and it'll know it'll it will it will not know which one to choose. So make sure you want to rename this to OG. Make sure do not make that mistake. Do not make the mistake of not uh, renaming this right here, the original background, so that it won't get confused. Okay, just saying. Okay, so go back to Frida. So then once you once you um. Once you have renamed your your original background, go back to files, save as, and then do the original. And make sure you save it as a PNG image. All right, and then just click on save. Um, information for the image here. Okay, and then boom, you're immediately done. So go back here, right? Go back. Do Psych Engine Windows, and I'll go back Asset, Images, scroll down, and then you'll see Menu DSAT, right? So then, you're going to do the exact same thing, except what you're going to do now, go to here, go to your background stuff, right? And you can pick whatever color you want, well, you can have to, you have to pick all of them, actually. So, what I'm going to choose first is I'm going to choose the, um, I think that's either pink, oh, it's Magneta. So we're gonna pick the blue background actually first, and then just and then copy over here. And so to have a little option right here, a little menu, just click on Insert as Reference Image right here. So it'll have this, right? Then we're just gonna do that. Okay. So once you're done doing that, you're gonna go to Filter, go to Adjust, and then go to HSV Adjustment. And then click on colorize on here. And then mess around with the hue and saturation. Mess around mess around with this. You're gonna mess around with this. See how bright that is? Yeah, so make sure just slide this over to whatever color is best fits right here for you. So that immediately fits best. So that is perfect. That right there? That's beautiful. So then go on here. Cut this out, right? And then you're gonna just pause. Wait, actually first. First, don't make the same mistake. Rename this, press F2 to rename it. To OG, right? Then you can save your image as. So then do the exact same thing you did, but this time name it to BG Blue. And there you go. And make sure, save it as PNG image as last time. Save. Okay. And then... There you go. You got your second image right there. And then just repeat the exact same steps, um, what I just did right now. So once you're done finishing your background, your custom backgrounds, go to here, Psych Engine, go all the way back over here. Open up the Psych Engine. Right, you're going to open this up. So, this should work now. Alright. Now go here. And bam! There you go. Yeah, let's go to the replay. Look at that! Have your custom 
background done. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how I do the fucked up background. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that for another video. Okay, so that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you do your custom background. Um, if you want to, if you guys want to see me do another tutorial, uh, for making an FNF mod, um, get this video to three likes, and we're gonna do another FNF tutorials like these. Um, get this video to like three likes, and we're gonna officially make this um a this FNF tutorial series. If we could, we can make a FNF tutorial series, how to slowly step by step. How to make your own FNF mod. So if you guys want to see a series on that, get this video to three likes. And that's gonna be gonna be basically it. And that's gonna basically be it. So well already guys, that's it for today's video. I'll see you guys next video. Bye bye.